Hey guys, what's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my box braids. Um, a lot of you guys um, were like, please tell me that you made a video about them. Um, this is that video. <laughs> no, I didn't record myself installing them because I have a video up of that already and I use the same exact method. But I did want to tell you guys about these braids because I, it, I did use a different type of braid than I used in that other video. As y'all can see, my edges and all that are looking mad jank. <laughs> I have actually today has made two weeks since I've had these braids in and so my edges need some help. So what I want to do is just refresh my edge line because that'll make this whole look look brand new. The braids that I did choose to use this time are by Shake and Go. They're their Freetress Large Braid. Right here, <laughs> their Freetress Large Braid. I have six packs in my hair. These are crochet braids. Um, if you guys have seen my other install video, you know that what I do is starting from behind my ear across to the other ear i braid those individually and everything else in the back is crocheted it saves a lot of time when installing and it gives you the same look so that is the look i went for i got these free tris braids from divatress.com so if you guys are looking for some crochet braids or twists or anything like that check out divatress they have a wide variety of different types of crocheted hair that you can get so go and check them out so the top like i said is individuals what i do when i put them in is everything in the back is crocheted and then when i get to the front of my head i undo the crocheted braid itself i undo the whole crocheted braid and then i use that hair to braid my own actual hair um and these braids they still look super fresh and super super brand new and it's been two weeks it's just it's looking crazy in the front since it is individual so my natural hair is just acting crazy so <laughs> that's why this don't look fresh but these still look fresh after two weeks so that is what is up that is what is up that's what's up <laughs> what i really like about these specific crochet braids though is that they're soft they're not dry you know with some crochet braids or Synthetic hair period, synthetic braiding hair, it can be very drying, but this particular brand is not drying. Um, it's actually pretty soft, and so it, I was not nervous to use these braids on my hair. So I do have six packs on my head. It does not feel like it. I thought that my head would feel super, super heavy because of it, but it does not feel heavy. I was even um, able to get my hair up into a bun it was so cute here's our picture <laughs> see how easily i'm undoing this it just shows how soft the hair is on these crochets let me finish unbraiding this and at least get one of these braids done and then we'll keep talking otherwise this video about to be heck along <laughs> To lay my hair flat, I just used my edge control when I first put it in. This edge control, if you have not seen my video about how bomb this edge control is, the Even New York, check it out. This is all I've been using. I've only, in the past two weeks, I've only applied it t twice to my hair. This is supposed to be a 48 hour hold. I've only had to apply it twice. And as y'all can see, my baby hair still look laid and they're really soft. Um, so if y'all have not got you some Even New York, I'm telling y'all, I'm not lying to y'all. <laughs> it really is the truth. So I'm just gonna apply some to the perimeter of the section. This is what I did when I first put the braids in. It's looking way neater already. <laughs>
it's taking me about five minutes to do one braid. So, how many do I have? Five and ten, ten, ten. It's gonna take me just a little bit over 30 minutes to braid all of these. I mean, which is cool. I ain't got nothing else to do but make my head look cute. <laughs> It feels good to scratch my scalp. <laughs> Ooh, we got some little dan- I don't be dandruff and what's happening? Ooh. Anyways. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get this braid braided in one try. Because when I initially put this in, I had to do this braid three times, I think. Because it just- I don't know what was going on. I just couldn't get it right. That's another individual back there. I think my hair has just grown some, which is why they're so grown out. Of course, the braids are also gonna loosen, but I think my hair has also just grown some, so. I mean, that's cute, thank you braids. I really hope I can get this down on the first try, cause I was getting so annoyed when it was taking me so long to get it the first time. Like, I'm not okay with it because, like, see how there's all that actionness? Ugh. Here we go again. This is what I was trying to avoid. I don't know why it's just this one braid. I don't know if it's because of the position that it is on my head. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> Shoot, y'all see the difference? Y'all can see the difference now of why I needed to refresh my braids. <laughs> Cause they was looking rough, man. Real rough. And even though it's not like a smooth texture all the way down, I don't care, I'm not going for perfection. I am not going for perfection. And see if I was doing somebody else's head, then I'd be like, ooh, I need to perfect that some. But it's my own head, I don't care. I just needed a hairstyle that could make it so that I didn't have to do my natural hair. And that is exactly what these braids did for me. Yes, last one, y'all. Didn't even take that long. <laughs> so my goal with these braids is to leave them in for another two weeks since I've already had them in for two weeks. I want to have them in for a whole month. That is a very large goal of mine because I don't, I'm somebody who doesn't keep in any type of style in long. Don't like to commit to styles that take me away from my natural hair, if that makes sense. So having my hair put away and me not being able to get it is a challenge for me. <laughs> and so two weeks, me having these in for two weeks already surprises me. So I'm challenging myself to leave them in for another two weeks or even the rest of February. When I do eventually take these out though, I will not be throwing them away. Not even the pieces in the front that I have undone. I'm gonna save those because um, when it comes to crochet braids, you can reuse them. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, I hit y'all. Yay, I am officially done, you guys. And look at how much neater it looks just from redoing, what was it, six braids? 
So it looks so much neater. You can actually see my scalp, which is what I wanted because my scalp disappeared. <laughs> um, what I'm going to quickly do next is just kind of not super lay my edges, just smooth them out and kind of round them out into the sections thereby. My edges already kind of do their own thing, so I just kind of assist them a little bit. If that makes sense. <laughs> This is kind of an example of how I wear my hair to work um, because I can't have my hair in my face when I'm at work. So this is how I wear my hair every day. I really like it like this. I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap my braids at night because they are pretty long, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap them at night so that they don't get in my way and so that I can preserve the crochet braids longer. So I'm gonna show you guys, I made I made a little something, something up. So this is just a scarf. What I do is I do sleep with my hair up like this. It might This might be kind of in a more ponytail style or I just leave it like how it was during my work day. Um, I'll loosen it up though. So right now it's tied around twice. I'll loosen it up once. I grab my scarf and I'll wrap it around my edges to preserve my edges and stuff and so that the front doesn't come undone easily you know what i'm saying so i got my satin pillowcase here i put it inside out so the satin parts on the outside and what i do is i flip it flip all the hair to one side open up this pillowcase and let's see i slide all of the hair inside the pillowcase hold on Ugh. Just like that. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Go like this. And because I knotted my scarf on the top of my head, I twist this here. And I tuck it underneath that knot. And it actually stays on all night. The braids stay behind me. They don't get all in front of me. They actually, they actually stay behind me all night. And this does not come off at all. And then I wake up and my edges are show popping. And honestly, this might be the only time that I need to apply this edge control within the next two weeks. Because the second time I put it on, the last two weeks, I didn't have to. I just wanted to. But this edge control, I'm telling you guys, will keep your edges laid. Like, it says 48 hours, but for me personally, it keeps them laid longer than that. So, um, and it doesn't get crusty. It doesn't leave whiteness. And yeah, so this is how I keep these braids popping and looking brand new and clean. Uh, once again, I did get these braids from divatress.com, so I will have the link to divatress down below in the description box as well as a direct link to these specific braids. So, yeah, check the description box down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, keep your thumbs to yourself, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.